year, second year at the Finn. We bring the heat. Loud, tough, and we're gonna be unbeatable this year. This was a university decision to invest into a basketball facility arena that was long overdue. The original pavilion, it was a multi-purpose use facility that was used by the student body, was used by our student athletes, and was used by our basketball program. Almost everybody was using this in some way, shape, or form. I remember, you know, even as a young kid coming to games here, traffic, people, loading, everything was in one spot. It was almost impressive how Unimpressive it was. <laughs> and this is for one of the top teams in the country. This year we celebrate the 100th anniversary of, of men's basketball here at Villanova. And it's very much a fabric of our identity. It's the flagship of our, of our athletic department. It's the flagship front doorstep of our university in many ways. The funding that's created through this building supports everything that we do and it's critically important we had to get that right. Really, the primary issue with this building in the old version was there was no completed concourse. Previously, you couldn't walk around the entire arena. You had to kind of go up and down and all around, and it just didn't lend itself well to a really good experience. The important thing was to create and recreate that experience for them from out at the street side. You process up the plaza, and you're seeing all these different pylons with different student athletes. And then once you move in, you're greeted by the big video screen, the Hall of Fame, and all the different other elements that tell the Villanova story. From two national championship trophies to Villanova legends on digital displays that are interactive, there are so many different opportunities to learn something new every time you come to this building. One of the most important aspects of this project was the design of the club spaces. The O'Toole Club, we put in the 2016 court. We marked on the floor actually the spot where Chris Jenkins took the winning shot. Jets win it all! Jets win it all! And the Davis Club itself, you're right behind the basket. It really creates a connection between those patrons and everybody else in the entire arena. We put a brand new kitchen in this building that didn't exist before. Now the per cap sales per person are off the charts. The locker room itself, it's a semi-circular design and the idea is that everybody is equal, they're part of a team and it's the team that wins, not any individual star players. From a recruiting standpoint, from a team lounge, from a locker facility, is the best in basketball. We treated that roof as a feature rather than as something to hide. We didn't choose to black it out, we actually made it white. You're seeing there's, I think, almost 500 lights on the roof and they can all individually be controlled and choreographed to music or the 3D projection system that's also on the roof. We created custom chairs now instead of hardwood benches. So we talk about fan experience, everyone's got an individual chair now. The partnership with you and Cole was phenomenal from day one. You know, to be able to pick up the phone at any time and know that you're going to be listened to was very impactful and I think it led to a lot of our success with this project. They trusted us to reinvent the identity of the building in a way that was very much Villanova's identity, but also something that I think none of us would have come up with had we tried to go it alone. From the outside, it looks amazing. I'm excited. You don't see this type of building anywhere. This is not your standard arena. Eye-opening. It was Beautiful. unbelievable. Beautiful. We know what Villanova looks and feels like, so we wanted to create a facility that was reflective of that, and I think we accomplished it in many ways.